Hi and welcome to another uh, video from Xentech. So today we are going to go over a quick setup of the Dell D3100 USB 3.0 uh, multi-display docking station. So, but that just got a call in the middle of the recording this video. Uh, so we are going to set up the Dell D3100 uh, USB 3.0 multi-display 4K docking station. Uh, currently this uh, docking station is installed on my uh, Microsoft Surface Pro and as you can see it's running these three monitors. That one, this one, and this one. So with this I got four monitors running uh, on this one system. And this, oops, I just went to sleep. So this one, uh, this one uh, docking station is running multiple monitors um, from this uh, surface. So that's the benefit of a docking station. It gives you a bunch of ports. Uh, the Surface comes with only one USB 3.0 ports, but uh, once you connect this dock, you can just uh, connect multiple monitors in. You can use an external keyboard and mouse. And on top of that, you can, um, you'll have extra USB ports and uh, Ethernet jack. Uh, as you can see, it's connected to that. The keyboard's currently connected to my computer. But I'm going to unplug the, as you can see, I will unplug the, 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 the cable from, uh, it's just one cable that's required. Everything else, the monitor, everything is connected to the, to the dock. And then you just plug in one cable and you're ready to go. You have, you know, this turns into this. It's absolutely amazing. Um. You don't need any, you know, extra graphics or anything like that. Display link will do all of that for you. And each of these monitors are uh, independent monitors, so I can have multiple windows open on uh, on each one of the uh, monitors. Uh, and with Windows 8, you can also do split screen. So it will have, you know, you can divide each one of these into two separate screens, and you have six screens you know six virtual screens and three uh, um, uh, physical screens uh, so that's the benefit of having a docking station and it works pretty good with this one uh, initially when i installed it on my desktop it didn't work uh, these two monitors would turn on and the third one wouldn't turn on um, so my my um, plan for the future is Currently, I have four monitors, as you can see. I got three 27-inch uh, Acer's here on the bottom. And then I have a LG Ultrawide uh, on the top. That's a 25-inch. Uh, and then there's two empty spots here. I had another monitor on there, but it was an older monitor. It just didn't look good, so I removed it. So my... Uh, uh, at the end, I mean, my, my goal is to have six monitors running here. Uh, and three of them will be running off of a desktop, and then uh, three of them will be running off of this uh, Display Link uh, um, adapter, the Dell adapter. Now I have this system right here, and that I'm building. It only has one PCI Express slot, so I won't be able to, you know, most graphics cards only support three uh, video cards. So that's one of the reasons I got that uh, dock. Uh, this is a high-end uh, X99 Mini ATX. Uh, system uh, so in order for me to have multiple monitors uh, I'll, I'll be running three or four from the onboard graphics and then the rest of them will be running off of uh, hopefully another, I'm, I'm getting a, a 4k TV that will be mounted somewhere around here uh, uh, and so you know all of them will be running off of the graphics card in this uh, low display um, so as you can see, I used to have a projector uh, that was, I was running, but now I have these monitors for, you know, they're great. I mean, multiple monitors will save you a lot of time while, while you're working. And you can have, you know, entertainment running 
uh, in the background. So now we will, well, initially when I installed it on my computer, it didn't work, so I had to uninstall uh, the drivers and I reinstalled it. I think the mistake I made was I plugged it in before installing the software and um, you know, Windows installed some older uh, software automatically and that was causing issues. Uh, but when I plugged it into the surf, when I installed the software on the surface, uh, and I plugged it in. It just worked flawlessly. It set it, it automatically set itself up, and it was up and running in no time after the restart. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna unplug it from. As you can see, it'll go blank when I unplug this cable. So there you go. It went blank. Um, so this will come back on because I just yeah, it's still thinking. There you go. So that's it. Uh, I mean, the, the beauty of the 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 dock is that you know pretty much you can turn uh, any computer into you know a a, 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 a workhorse uh, with multiple monitors as long as you have a USB 3.0 on the computer. So and because I have multiple computers running here, I have a server here on the bottom that will be uh, it's running Windows 8. I'm just using this as a file server. Um, and then I'll have my tablet. Sometimes, you know, I have my homework and stuff on that. Take this to school with me. I've started school back, so I'm take this to school with me to take notes and stuff like that. And I don't really want to use it on this tiny little screen. Sometimes I have to, you know, copy notes, do homework or whatever. I can do it on multiple screens, so I'll just plug it in here and then I'll just use one keyboard and, uh, and mouse to do all my work. And then sometimes I, I have a laptop here, so I'll, I'll plug it in here. I mean, uh, you don't really need multiple monitors, but uh, since I got used to it, uh, used to using uh, multiple monitors, uh, yeah, I just it's hard for me to work with a single monitor. So uh, I mean, I can plug in pretty much any of my uh, units um, into this little dock, and it'll automatically turn it into an all-in-one. I mean, what the hell am I talking about? Multiple monitor uh, setup. So it works right. I mean, so I just plug it in. There we go. And I'm going to, yeah. So I'll just leave it for now. So as you can see right here, it's configuring it right now. It's installing the drivers. It'll automatically do that as soon as you plug it in. Of course, you have to run the software. Um, download the latest version from Dell's website if you use the CD and that has older version and then it might not work. So it's going to install the software and it'll automatically, as you can see, start uh, doing its thing. So hopefully it'll configure it and it'll be up and running. Yeah, I don't like this because it's installing it from Windows updates automatically again, which I didn't want. But let's see if it works. Really didn't want that. Let's see, yes. So I went ahead and skipped it. And it didn't work for some reason. Now it started. There we go. So it says, please wait while the Splitlink software is configured for the first time. So restart it and hopefully it will work. So now I'll have four monitors running. Um, uh, now the other good thing is like if you want multiple monitors you know even more monitors running uh, uh, you know from this uh, setup right here because it has multiple USB 3.0 ports uh, you, it, there has it has some in the back and some in the front some of them are USB 2.0 and then some of them are USB 3.0 
believe out of these front ones are USB 3.0. So well, what you can do is just get, um, uh, just purchase, you know, these little uh, USB to uh, uh, DVI or USB to HDMI dongles that there's also a display link and plug them in and then you'll have multiple you can have more uh, monitors running off of uh, you know a small tablet and um, so there you go it's still configuring hopefully everything goes all right i'm not going to show you my password Voila, and hopefully it's configured. If not, we'll ha have to reinstall it again. But it should work. I mean, there you go. There's one monitor up. Uh, there's another one. There's another one. So all four of these uh, are running uh, with no issues. So as you can see, I have four monitors running. Uh, in in the future. Uh, off of that system, I should be able to run six monitors. Uh, so there will be six monitors here. Actually, no more than six monitors because the graphics card will allow me to run two and then three off of the three more off of the motherboard. And then uh, I should should have uh, one extra port for the either a projector or a uh, uh, a 4K uh, monitor. So there you go. It's set up. Now I'm going to unplug the keyboard and mouse and, from the computer and plug it into. So there's one. As you can see right here in the back, it has. Uh, let me turn the, um, the light on. So there's the gigabit Ethernet, and then all of the monitors are here plugged in. Uh, uh, and this is also powered uh, USB hub. Uh, so pretty much it will run any external um, uh, hard drives or in, uh, pretty much anything that you have. It should be able to run it. Um, so there we go. That's one. The other thing uh, that the the dock does is it frees up a lot of space, you know, a lot of the USB 3.0 ports and 2.0 ports in the back of the computer. So I have two, as you can see right there, two graphics card, I mean two uh, video ports here uh, empty to install, you know, other monitors. And then there's an HDMI uh, and a VGA uh, that I can plug in more monitors if I want to. And uh, that's the beauty of uh, DisplayPort. Not DisplayPort, Display Link technology. So, all right, it's very hard. Plug it in with one uh, hand. It's messy, I know. Uh, it's gonna be like that for a little while to like clean up this place, and then uh, so there we go. It helps a lot. I mean, um, so as you can see right here, I have control of all of the monitors. Uh, the other thing you need to do is just right click on the on any one of your screens, go to screen resolutions, and uh, just configure uh, your monitor to identify them and uh, uh, configure them. So that's correct. This is correct. This one is in the wrong spot. So I'll just pick it up and put it here. As you can see, apply. And now it's easy to move around. So I can move around, boom, boom, up, down. And then if I had another monitor here, I would have configured it and put it on top of that. Then on that one, so you can just easily move up and down. Um, that is pretty much it. This is a high res monitor i don't know why it's going but i think because it's display uh, for some reason this is supposed to be this monitor is 2560 by i think 1440 so i don't know for some reason it won't give me that 
resolution, but that's okay. 1980 is still plenty of, oh, there you go, by name. And so that's the beauty of multiple monitors is I can have, you know, multiple Windows programs running. So I have another computer, another room. That's my register. So I can just connect to that. And, um, oops, remote just, oh, maybe it's off, that's why. Um, so I can't connect to that. Let's see, just run another program. Microsoft Office. So as you can see, I can just run these things without any issue. Uh, and everything's good and go. So I have, you know, I can move windows, you know, move programs around from monitor to monitor and just put it wherever I need, need it. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's the beauty of multiple monitors. And this is my current setup right here. It's a basic uh, computer that I have uh, plugged in, right? I mean, uh, uh, that I have right now. So not much to brag about, but my X99 setup is coming. So that will be my... Uh, um, the only reason I got this set up was because it let me um, plug in three monitors uh, with an added graphics card. Uh, it, it would let me uh, run uh, five monitors uh, with a you know low profile graphics card. Um, so this is uh, AMD APU A4 5000 APU uh, with a Radeon HD graphics, and then uh, supports up to 16 gigs of RAM. I have 8 gigs because I don't do much on there just for day to day use. So it does what, what it needs uh, to do. Everything is good to go. Now, if I, for example, if I wanted to uh, uh, use uh, my uh, tablet, all I, have to, all I have to do is, as you can see, let me close that real quick. That's my HP Pro book. And all I have to do is, now this time I only have three monitors plus the screen, uh, but you know, obviously I won't use the screen. So all I have to do is just unplug just one cable and the monitors go off. And then plug it into this bad boy. This uh, tablet also has a display port, a mini display port here. So if you want, if I wanted to, I could actually run another monitor off of this uh, uh, little port right here. That's the display port, mini display port. So it will, uh, it will run another monitor. So if I wanted to install, uh, you know, run the fourth monitor, I could, I can. So there we go. It should be up and running. It's configuring itself. And the monitor should come on in a second. There you go. See, as you can see, it's flickering. So I was trying to get up. There you go. There you go. And I have, I don't have to use, as you can see, I don't have to use uh, a tablet's tiny little keyboard and mouse. 